Yeah, I used to have this business coach who um, was a little bit unorthodox and every single session, you know, the end of each session, we'd have these 60 minute sessions. He would ask me, okay, so what did you think about today's session? You know, how did you feel? You know, did I do a good job today? And at first I thought it was really strange. It was almost like I was in a, a, in a therapist's office, but he um, would constantly do this over and over and over again. And at first I didn't want to answer because I didn't want to make him feel bad. I didn't want to hurt his feelings and it was just uncomfortable, but he continually persisted over and over in time and time again until finally I would tell him how I felt. And he appreciated the feedback and he, and he improved the sessions because of it. And what I realized is there was a method to his madness. I mean, over the course of being with him, the quality of the sessions improved and improved and improved. And it wasn't until years later, I realized he was following the template of deliberate practice, which is the only way to really improve at an accelerated pace is to be uh, error focused, to be concerned with your weaknesses. He was just, I think that's the mark of a great manager to really be um, obsessively concerned with where their weaknesses are. And that's why I love that guy.